And over here we have the new brewery and distillery. On the right side we have the brewery moved here in 2009. And back in 2015 the distillery followed us also over here from downstairs of Taivaranta. And what you see at first glance through the windows, the stills are a little bit bigger than they were. Yeah, well they are the twins which are the exact copy of the mm -hmm. original stills. So those are the 900 liters, but then there's the first one which is uh, 3000 liters. Yeah. So it is possible for us to increase the capacity also over here. Yes, so over here we have the milling room, both brewery and distillery use it. Uh, most of the barley comes within a uh, few kilometers from the local malting factory mm. that we use. The barley is grinded over there and sent upwards for the next processes to get the starch open over there and to get the process going on well. You get the barley locally, right? Yes, most of the barley that we use comes locally. Uh, here we have the brew house, uh, Kaspar Schulz equipment from Germany, really high quality. Uh, the days are divided with the brewery and distillery. One uh, wash is uh, 3,000 liters and it is possible to make two washes a day over here. So 6,000 liters per day. So are you using this equipment for the distillery as well? Yes, both brewery and distillery, they share the equipment and uh, share the days also over there. Mm -hmm. Do you want to go up and check out over there? Oh, yes. Yeah. It is at uh, 7 a.m. when the processes begin here and the morning shift starts. And first you get the water and the grinded barley over there for the first kettle. And mm -hmm. it is, the process begins over there. So are you operating seven days a week or do you have weekends? No, five days a week. Okay. And here are the distillery wash packs. We have six of these over here. They are 6,000 liters. We use special whiskey yeast over here and it is fermented for 72 hours before it goes over there for our distillery. Have you ever experimented with longer or shorter fermentation times? A uh, little bit over there, but it is quite fixed for the mm. 72 hours now. So the small twins over there and the big brother or big yes. sister. Uh, this is Justina, an old Finnish lady name. Uh, 3,000 liters is the wash still, mm -hmm. and then we have the twins, which are the exact copy from the original distillery with 900 liters. And also done by four sides. Yeah. yeah. So you distill here uh, five days a week, but not in the summer, right? Depending on the schedule, but it, is, it would be possible, yeah. Mm. And here we have the spirit safe, mm -hmm. where Jaco and his team uh, got the head off and the tails off and keep the beautiful heart of our distillate, the new spirit. And it is diluted to 63.5% of alcohol, in which we put it in the oak barrels to maturate over there at the backyard mm -hmm. with the sea containers. So those spirit stills have straight line arms? Yeah. And the wash still has a declining one. Even though first when Ansi was ordering the size of the original stills, they were suspicious about the size, like we don't do this small, but uh, it has been in the cover of the magazine, the original distillery for several years. So I guess that is, they are really proud of it. And these are also awarded as the worldwide whiskey producer, so they make a good whiskey over here. So we are really ha happy about our pot stills and washed it. So after the new make is made, uh, yeah. it's filled into the casks. Where, where are you doing it? Yeah. 
we do it in that in this room. In this room. Yeah. And in in there we have the tanks from Unimake, and from there we just. We put the casks on the scale yeah. and mm. uh, check the liters from over there and do the, all the proper measure, measurements and uh, then the Jaka and the guys put the casks over there for the sea containers to maturate. Where do the tax and, and, and uh, office start looking at the cask, how much is in there? And is it before you fill it with the alcohol or where does that happen that you have to report? Uh, I think we need to report also the distilled leaders. Yeah, yeah. So straight from the beginning. Okay. Uh, we maturate our whiskies in former sea containers, so these are no eligible any, anymore for their original use. And we buy them and turn in the whiskey warehouses. It is a great way for sustainability aspect. It is a great way also for us to expand our whiskey warehouses. Mm. In three years, the amount of the containers have expanded from 32 to 49. So it is really nice way. And there is maturating about half a million liters of single malt whiskey behind my back. Half a million liters? Yeah. Oh, that's, a, that's a lot. How, how, much, uh, how many casks are in, in one container, do you know? Uh, the amount of casks is about 20 to 40. How many, Jaska? Jaska, almost 50 casks. <laughs> so almost 50 casks mm. in each container. They are both the private casks are also over here, but also the distillery casks as well. They're pretty big. How do you get them here? Uh, by truck. By truck. Yeah. Right. And there is a little bit of uh, heating over there. So during the winter, when it goes down to minus 27 degrees in Lahti area or minus 30 degrees, so we keep them heated and it is plus two degrees the minimum. And during the summertime, it goes up to 32 degrees. So throughout the year, there's a gradually change of the temperature going mm. from two degrees to 32 degrees. So it, it actually enhances the maturation process really well. So one could say that maturation is faster than, for example, in Scotland. Yes. And it's closer to what happens in America. Yes. Yeah. Interesting. And the angels are really happy over here, so they don't get that big of a cut as well. How we've much? been we've been drinking, giving them drinks for 22 years now, so they are starting to be content with less <laughs> shares. So do you know how much the angel shares is per year here? It is from two about 2% 2 nowadays. Okay, that's you, good. Yeah. And that's because the containers are very tight? Yes. Yeah. What, what about the degrees of alcohol content in, in the cask? Is it worse or is it less than normal with those containers, do you know? Uh, depending on the warehousing system that you have, but nowadays uh, it doesn't. It is about the same. It does. It goes a little bit down mm. rather than up. Okay. We have had a warehouse where the alcohol volume goes up, but uh, over here it is stays uh, quite the same. The smell is tremendous. That's more than a normal warehouse. And it's pretty cool in here. Yeah. Didn't expect it to be that cool because outside it has 26, 27 degrees right now. And if an angel would be in here, he would be <laughs> totally drunk. <laughs> yeah, the nose is beautiful when it comes over there. So we have our own wood pellet power plant that generates the heat for the brewery and distillery. And compared to natural gas or oil, the food carbon footprint is uh, about 90% smaller compared to those, mm. those energy forms. And it is uh, used by these wood pellets. This is compressed sawdust. 
and the sawdust comes from a local sawmill and it is compressed to these pellets and these give the heat for the factory. So that's where you heat the steam for, for the stills? Yes. And you also have a heat exchanger from uh, in, in the distillery that also helps to lower the footprint, right? Yes, yes. We calculated it two years ago and now, uh, now we are recalculating it. And as we have had some changes over there with the blueprint, with the brewery equipment, and uh, to minimize also the need for the energy. And also we have changed our glass bottle with the whiskies for more lighter one with renewable glass. So we are positive that the carbon footprint goes even down from the earlier in two years ago. Vera, we have to talk about Mörke. Yes, we need to talk about Mörke over here. So we are now in one of the sea containers that you can actually visit over here when you come for the premium whiskey tour for the visitor center. And over here, there's our beauty. More than 500 liter cask, sherry cask. It is more than 100 years old from Spain. And over here, we have a whiskey that is maturating over here and uh, probably it'll take a lot of time when it's ready. So when did you fill it? It's been filled uh, in uh, 2021, okay. first of October. Hmm. And one has to say that Finnish regulations forbid that you open this and let people try it. Yes. So there is no tasting whatsoever in this beautiful container with this beautiful casks or elsewhere. Yeah. 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 You will you get to touch it and you get to feel it and see it but not taste it. 